Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. So I wanted to talk today about third-party integrations and the software that we connect with with Victolic Tools for Revit. One of the major pieces of software that we connect with is GTP Stratus. And if you notice up under our settings, under other settings, there's a third-party application section. This is a place where you can create an app key on Stratus and put the app key into Victolic Tools for Revit to connect your model with Stratus. Once your model is connected with Stratus, you'll start receiving updates from Stratus whenever you refresh your assembly manager. So over here in the assembly manager, you see I have nine items. And they all have an M icon, where typically, if it weren't connected to Stratus, you would see something to the effect of a sheet icon or a sheet with a check icon. But if you look at the bottom of this, it'll tell you what that M actually stands for. In this case, it means modeled. So this is a way for the drafter to see in Revit the status of particular assemblies. So if I flip over to GTP Stratus, I can see here a list of all the assemblies I have in my project. Now if the fabrication shop or anyone else connected to Stratus changes the status of any of these assemblies, I can immediately see it back in my model. So let's take number one and number two. We'll change their statuses to, uh, let's say, this one issued for fabrication. And this one issued for purchasing. Okay, just to give it something different. All right, now back here in Revit, as soon as I hit refresh on the dock, you should see the very first two change icons. Okay, issued for fabrication shows up as an orange IF because orange was the color selected on Stratus and uh, issued for purchasing is a yellow IP. Okay, these are also viewable in a parameter on the assembly itself called Vic Fabrication Status issued for fabrication. So this gives you an opportunity to set up filters in your drawing to tell you which pieces have been fabricated already so you know that it's pencils down and you cannot mess with this section of your model. Now we've furthered our integration with GTP Stratus in the Package Manager. And if you haven't seen the Package Manager video, make sure you check that out. We'll put a link in the description below. So over here in the Package Manager, at the moment, I don't have any packages set up. So let's go ahead and create one. All right, so just like in the Package Manager video, you can do a selection-based or you can do an assembly-based setup. I'm going to select this drop right here. I'll go up here under the Create Assembly dropdown and click on Create Package. And let's call this one Headers. Okay. The moment I create it and I'm connected to GTP Stratus, the software will ask me if I'd like to create this on Stratus as well. So if I click Yes right here, this selection of components that I call Headers here is created in Revit. But back in GTP Stratus, if I were to go over to the Packages section, I'll see that it's been created here as well. The statuses of each of these packages can be controlled as well right through Stratus. I'll go and say this one has been issued for fabrication. I'll click update on that. And if you click on the package name within Stratus, you can actually get a good view of the selection that created the package. OK, that's everything I had selected in Revit. Back over here within Revit, if I were to hit refresh on the package manager, I can see that this particular selection, this package called headers, has a status on Stratus called issued for fabrication. Now another integration we've done with Victolic Tools for Revit is connecting to Pipe Server, the pipe cutting software. Under the assembly manager, a user would select an assembly, go down to actions, and click on export pipe server pipe cutting file. Now this will export a proprietary file for pipe server, a PSVR file, and that can be read by pipe server to pick up all the intricacies of properly cutting pipe. Now along those same lines, there's a number of third-party softwares that will read a PCF file. A PCF file can be exported from either the assembly manager or the package manager. Whatever you have selected in the assembly manager, go ahead and click Actions. You can export a PCF file right from there. OK, so that's just a few of the third-party integrations that we'll be offering with Victolic Tools for Revit. 
Make sure to check back for updated videos and thank you for watching.